Hey guys, welcome to this week's episode of Vinny's Vittles. I got a treat for you this week that you're going to love and you're going to want this on your Thanksgiving lunch table. This recipe comes to us from Miss Diane Benton, Jamie's mom, and it is a wonderful recipe called Sweet Potato Dumplings. Now all the ingredients that we'll be using will be listed in the description box below so you'll be able to get the complete recipe there. But today we're going to be using some yam patties, Mountain Dew, sugar, some butter, some cinnamon, and some crescent rolls. And I promise you, you're going to want this on your Thanksgiving table. All right, guys, let's get started. I've already uh, set up eight of these in the pan. We're going to be using a 9 by 13 casserole dish. Now, this is our crescent rolls, and I was told they will not work if you don't whop them on the counter to open it. So you can't just open it normally. So we're going to whop it, and it opened. Now we're going to be cracking them out. We're just going to roll these out. And we're using just uh, parchment paper for this. And once we get these pulled apart, we're going to sprinkle sugar, I mean uh, cinnamon on them first. All right, now we're going to sprinkle them with the cinnamon. And we just want to get a good coating of cinnamon on each one. I don't know that you can put too much cinnamon, but you know, just make sure you get them coated good. All right, there we go. All right, now we're gonna take the uh, potato, sweet potato patties and we're gonna cut them in half, just like this, okay? Then we're gonna take the piece, we're gonna lay it in, we're gonna fold the edges over so that none of the sweet potato is showing. And then we're just gonna roll them up. Then of course you wanna check the ends and make sure that they're sealed good. And then you just wanna lay them in the pan. All right, let's do another one. Hold it over, roll it up, make sure our ends are sealed up good so no sweet potatoes showing, and put it in the pan. Not too difficult, but it's going to be delicious. Now you can do this not just with sweet potatoes, you could do it with fruit, you could do it with apples, you could do it with, um, I don't know how to be with strawberries, but you could do it with... Uh, you might do it with peaches and almost just make almost individual cobbler kind of deals. But I think this is gonna be good. All right, guys, we've got them all wrapped and in the pan, all right? We've melted two sticks of butter. Now we're gonna add a cup and a half of sugar. Now, we don't want the sugar to melt, so we're just gonna kinda combine it, just kinda mix it in good, but we don't wanna stir it till it melts. We want it to be nice and thick and gooey, okay? So that's all we're gonna do is just make sure all the sugar is wet. All right, that looks like we got it all pretty wet. Let's just do it one more time or two to make sure. Now, I bet if you ate that right there, it'd put you out. <laughs> Ooh, that looks good. All right, now we're going to just drizzle this right across the top of each one of these rolls. Just like that, make it nice and rich and thick. Just going to pour it right on top of those that we made. Just like that. All right. Now we got a good coating on that. Now we're going to add Mountain Dew. I know that sounds weird, but I promise it'll be good. Now you don't want to pour the Mountain Dew right on top. We're going to pour it around the sides and down the middle. Down the middle. Around the sides. Down the middle around the sides. Now we got a good layer there. Now we're gonna come back with the cinnamon and sprinkle again. Good layer, right across the top again. Now you're gonna to wanna to preheat your oven to 350. Once you get it preheated, you're gonna put this in for about 35 minutes or so or till it's nice and golden brown and bubbly. And it's gonna be good. All right, guys, it's been in the oven. It has come out. It is wonderful and smells so good. I cannot wait to try this. 
I have a guest um, taster again this week. Uh, May May's joined me again today, so. He did not have to ask me twice to try this one. Yeah, this one's pretty good. I got an email about this and I want to share it with you uh, just so you'll know. She said, um, this is from uh, Diane who gave us this recipe. She said, uh, Jamie said that you're going to use this recipe on Vinnie's Vittles and that I should write a little something about it. It's not the easiest thing to do because the person I got this from was one of my favorite and the most precious friend I've ever had. I might add that she wrote and published two cookbooks of her own. Unfortunately, she passed away from the dreadful disease ALS in January of 2015. The night before she went home to be with Jesus, I called her needing a recipe for the New Year's Day event at our home. She was able, with the help of her husband, Richard, to give me the recipe. Richard called me the next morning to tell me that she was gone. Vince, if you do use this recipe, it would bless my heart if you would dedicate it to Nancy Lloyd from Chandler, Arizona. So we want to say special thanks for that. Did you explain that Diane is Jamie's mama? I did. And that Jamie works for us? Well, I didn't go into all that, but I thought if I said that, they would know who she was. Get a little impatient, are you? Can I say that I'd love Nancy Lloyd of Chandler, Arizona? Yeah. If it weren't for her and Miss Diane, we'd never known about these things. And then Jamie made them and then... We had to have them. Ready? Am I ready? It's time to test them. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Mm. Okay, so listen. That crunchy sugar top. The cinnamon I put on there extra? Mm -mm, the crunchy sugar top. <laughs> what happens is, you get this crunch on top. Do we get to keep eating while you talk? And then when you cut into it, you get the soft, um, it, it's, it's a yam, right? Yeah. Or a sweet potato patty. Candy yam, whatever you want to call it. And you know what? The Mountain Dew goes away. Mm. Doesn't it? Oh gosh. I'm glad you mentioned the Mountain Dew. Some of you may not be a fan of soft drinks. There is a recipe out there circulating around where you can use orange juice in place of the Mountain Dew. So if you want to do that, you can. Please feel free to do that if you're, you know, not a fan of soft drinks. Can I say what I think? Uh-huh. I think these would be so good, just like they are, but with, like, cream cheese filling and blueberry pie filling. Yeah, I bet there's a lot of different variations that you could use. Can you imagine? Um, you could use apples. That would be incredible. With caramel. Shut the front door. That'd be good stuff. But anyway, Jamie's you try this said, recipe. Jamie's dad said cherries. Listen, cherry pie filling, just like this, and then maybe drizzle it with some chocolate. I think that'd be good with cherries. Yeah, yeah. This Lots is not for every day. This is not for every day. Really? We can't have this tomorrow? <laughs> We're going to have it Thursday, Thanksgiving. <laughs> But I promise you, you're going to want to put this on your Thanksgiving table, and I know you're going to love it just like we do. We hope you have a great day. Thanks for joining us on Vinnie's Vittles. Be sure to click the subscribe button and ring that little bell so you'll get notified every time Vinnie's Vittles is back. And next week on our episode, it'll be on Thursday on Thanksgiving Day, and it'll be just a recap of our Thanksgiving lunch and a little game that we played here at the office. So you'll want to be a part of that. The game was sent to us from Wendy. Yeah. So cute. It really turned out fun. We had a great time playing it. I can't wait yeah. for you to see that. So that'll be next Thursday on Thanksgiving Day. So they won't be of any fiddles on the following Saturday, but it'll be on Thanksgiving Day. And if you've never seen my channel, my channel is May May Made It on YouTube. <laughs> he does it on my channel, so I'm going to do it on yours. Head over and subscribe. If we hit 200,000 subscribers before the end of the year, which we're super close, before yep. Christmas, actually, yep. I'm giving away a Brother Scan and Cut DX. Go subscribe. Yeah, there Thank you, you go. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Vinny's Vittles. Bye now. Bye.